In our last video, we saw that the MBF dog class was not recognized by this current file. And in fact, if I press on the error, we see use of undeclared identifier MBF dog. So right now, this identifier is not recognized by the MBF view controller file. In order to fix this, we're going to have to learn about importing. But before we learn about what hashtag import does, let's first find an example of an import. So I'm gonna, I can go ahead and I can remove the MBF dog line code because that doesn't work right now. We'll re-add that after we fix this problem. And we can go to the top of our file and find our first import statement. And we see here that we're importing the MBF viewcontroller.h file, which means we're including the header file for this implementation file, the MBF viewcontroller.m file. So we gain access to our own header files definitions and any properties and methods that we set up there. So we below this we can write another import statement. So we import our MBF dog header file. And now we have access to the MBF dog class, which has been made public. So anything inside of its header file that it made public, we can now use. Now we can start talking about MBF dogs in our MBF view controller. Incidentally, the quotes here mean that this is a local directory. We'll take a look at an example of uh, import that has angle brackets instead of quotes. Here though, we use quotes to tell the import statement to find my very own header file or a header file that I have created. Each of our classes and files do not know about each other unless we import them with their header files. It's good practice to keep importing to a minimum and only do so when necessary. Let's take a look at mbfdog.h for an example of angle brackets. And here we notice that we're importing the foundation framework, which we talked about earlier, gives us access to a bunch of Objective-C functionality. We can also see another example of angle brackets by going to mbfviewcontroller.h, and we see that we're importing UI kit. We import the UI kit framework when we need access to the graphical user interface elements that we added to our storyboard. UIKit also includes the foundation framework so we also get access to the Objective-C extensions. Since we are a view controller which manages a view, there's a possibility that we'll need to include these graphical elements inside of this class. It's also worth noting here that for anyone with C experience, import protects against a header file being included more than once. However, in this modern age of programming, most header files protect against this anyways, so the performance savings are minimal. 